The things we say and do can come back and bite us in the behind in more ways than one. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Senator Kelly Loeffer just lost the runoff election in Georgia, and now guess what? The WNBA Atlanta Dream players want her out as partial owner of that team. Yes, sir. Let's get into it right after the jump. Welcome back to Tomorrow League Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. Don't forget, subscribe. Kick that, click that notification bell. Leave me a comment. Share these videos. Comment on these videos. Share these videos. Subscribe. That's right. Subscribe. Click that notification bell. Yes, guys. And hey, check this out. It's crazy how things just go up in smoke in a matter of 24 hours. The WNBA took the social media, took their social media presence to a whole nother level when they went down to Orlando and played in the bubble this past season, letting the world know that, hey, look, they had had enough with the social injustices that was going on around the country and they wanted to make a stand. I, I applaud all of the WNBA players for taking the lead on that and the, and the NBA players following right behind. But guys, it gets even better than that. You have the Atlanta Dream who wanted to put, um, say her name, they want they wanted to put uh, Black Lives Matters uh, uh, um, content on there, or you know, put Black Lives Matters uh, um, slogans on there, on their either their uniforms, their shooter shirts, or their warm up. And Senator Kelly Loeffler was like, "Oh no, we're not doing that." <laughs> Loeffler disagreed. She said, "Yo, the Black Lives Matters message the ladies wanted to put on their uh, on their uniforms." She said, "No, they're not doing that." She said, uh, and she made it well known that she said, "No, they're they're not they're." They're not going to do anything like that because this takes away from um, this takes away from the game itself. And the crazy thing is, the ladies they didn't take that well at all. I mean, they let it be known that they didn't want her as an owner anymore. I mean, they they came out speaking about the social injustices, about what was happening around the country. I mean, Loeffler doubled down on she you know she doubled down on the stand saying, "Hey." I got something for you guys. Since you guys are, are, are bucking the system and don't want to listen to what I got to say, I'm going to send a letter. You know, hey, hey whenever they can't get their way, they're going to write up a letter and send it off. You know how they do. Folks love sending letters when they can't get their way. Oh, oh, you won't give me this $2, $2 this discount off my food? I'm going to send a letter to corporate. Well, send your damn letter there. And that's what she did. Guess what? The letter she sent to the commissioner concerning the black mind, she was condemning Black Lives Matter, saying it promotes violence. Uh, and it's, what's it? Uh, Anti-Semitic and the disruption of the nuclear family. Nuclear family? I, I didn't know family was a bomb. Nuclear? You couldn't come up with nothing else other than nuclear. These are her words, not mine. These, these are her words. Her words. Yes. She said nuclear. She also said, uh, she goes on to saying that allowing the women to have such, such a message doesn't go along with the goal and values of the WNBA. Wow. So... Senator Loeffler just rewrote the rules for the WNBA. I mean, the ladies were just supposed to shut up and dribble, as the lady said on, uh, what's that, the, uh, uh, Fox Fox Sports? Nah, that wasn't going to happen. You know these ladies were trying to hear that. So, yeah, they, they made it. They made their, they made, they, they decided, hey, look, enough is enough. And it comes none other than LeBron James. Yes, sir. Never mention his words. Always believe in equality for all. Just as well as, just as well as these NBA players get paid, you know, lucrative uh, deals for their services for these different organizations. Hey, it's time that the women get paid. They, hey, they need to be they need to be paid comparable to a lot of these daggone NBA players. It's time for these owners to get off their behinds and do the things necessary to make sure that these women are compensated accordingly. But yes, guys, he uh, LeBron James, King James came and said, hey, he's going to put a collective group together to go ahead and pull off the uh, purchase of. Kelly Loeffler's uh, um, shares of the Atlanta Dream. And you know what? Hey, LeBron, let me know. I'm going to get my coins together right now because I, I want to get in on some of that myself because I think together to be a part, if we all pull together to become a part of something, that will be great, not only for the economy, but for the ladies of the WNBA. It's time their pay scale, like I said, gets comparable to what's going on within the NBA. I mean, come on, guys. It's it's. It's, it's just time. I believe LeBron James and the group that he puts together will do a fantastic job at running that uh, Atlanta Dreams organization. Because like I said, if if we can't stand up for these ladies, who's gonna stand up for them? Enough is enough. And like I said, right now, 
there's changes going on in the state of Georgia, and there's going to be a lot of changes going to go on around the world. Like I said, with all of the events that have taken place in the past 24 hours, it's just a shame right now that America's be, being looked at in the manner which it is because you have so many that feel that they deserve while so few are out here trying to do the best they can to get to a point where they can at least extend their hand and say, hey, I deserve something too without someone else slapping their hand away saying, no, you don't. But guys, leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about LeBron James and his group possibly taking the opportunity to purchase uh, Senator Kelly Loeffler's shares of the WNBA Atlanta Dream. Let me know what you think about that. Do you think it's a go or are we just blowing smoke? Talk to me. Tell me what's happening. But guys, until next time, if you like the content, please like, share, subscribe. Also, you can follow us on social media. The links are listed down below. Guys, don't forget, subscribe to this channel, guys. I, pr hey, I post videos two, two to three times a week. Sometimes I might post every day. A lot of times I might post two to three times a day. So let's go ahead and hit that, hit that notification bell so you can get these videos. And remember, guys, be that one and lead.